one, not two, but three captivating lightning talks lined up to leave you inspired and craving for more knowledge. So as the very first speaker, we have Dinusha Disanayake. Dinusha is a data scientist with a passion for using data-driven insights to solve complex business problems. She holds a bachelor's degree specializing in statistics and a master's degree in computer science from the University of Peradeniya, along with the SEMA professional qualification. She is currently pursuing an MPhil in data science at the University of Colombo. So, with great pleasure, I would now invite Dinusha Disanayake for the very first lightning talk. Over to you, Dinusha. Oh, thank you, Saumya. Let me share the screen. Um, yeah. Hope you can see the screen, Saumya. Uh, yes, Dinusha, the screen is visible. Okay. Uh, so, hi all, good morning. Um, firstly, I would th like to thank WIDS organizers for uh, inviting me to speak on the occasion and also for Dr. to Dr. Radhika for that inspiring and informative speech. I actually took notes also. Thank you very much. Um, so, um, today what I would do is, um, like uh, Saumya mentioned, I work as a senior data scientist at Octave, and I will try to give you an idea how I got here and what data scientists do uh, in the industry from my perspective uh, by going through some frequently asked questions from a data scientist. Um, to start with, uh, so journey to here and now. So my journey here is, uh, so I come from uh, maths and statistics background. I schooled at Mahamaya Girls College, Kandy. And uh, like Samia mentioned, I graduated from Peradeniya and also did master's in computer science. And in terms of my uh, career, uh, my first work experience uh, uh, was as a research scientist. I tried to find innovative products uh, through data scientists in combination with other natural sciences. Then uh, later on, I joined retail sector where I started analyzing business data. I think that became the grassroots for me to become a data scientist in coming years when uh, data science uh, became a growing industry in Sri Lanka. Um, so what do you do as a data scientist? So this is something um, actually a lot of people have asked from me. So I'll uh, begin with uh, explaining how data science actually works in the industry. So as you know, the definition of the data science is that it is an interdisciplinary field, which is combination of statistics and mathematics, and it involves this data collection and uh, pre-processing, analyzing, visualizing, and derive insights out of this raw information. And the definition is absolutely correct, and that is exactly what we do. So, like they, like normal data scientists, they work from wide variety of data. They like it can be structural data, unstructural data. So all the formats, data sources, uh, range of sources we work with, and we use a lot of tools uh, and uh, extract insights from data. And we build these predictive models where we predict something prescriptive models, like we do some simulations and sometimes even descriptive models as required. Like sometimes bar chart can give you an insight. Uh, so, and we tell a story through the data. So that is in a very simplified manner, data, what data scientists do. Um, so, and how data science work is, it's not a function which happens in a silo. Like it's actually teamwork. We have to work with others. We have different stakeholders in corporate sector. Uh, for example, if you can imagine a case study, you get a problem from client and he or she will come and tell you, this is my problem and can you give me a solution? So in a good stream uh, structure you know, for the client interaction point, we have like, uh, there are separate teams called delivery team. So with them, uh, data scientist will go and understand the business problem and this uh, delivery team will understand actually the language better because each domain has their own expertise so then they uh, with delivery team will uh, uh, with the, uh, they'll bring the problems to the technical team so this technical team not only consists of data scientists but data engineers machine learning engineers there are 
the business intelligence, visualization experts. So the, it's a full team. So then uh, when this problem comes to the data scientist, he or she will break down the problem and come up with a very feasible, practical, analytical, and also value-adding value uh, analytical solution in corporate sector. So like uh, then uh, we will decide uh, what sort of approach we are going to use. And then uh, comes the data engineers also. They support the data scientists to obtain all this data. They will, they will build pipelines, they will find the data sources, they'll ensure a continuous accuracy, cleanliness of the data. And also, and this data engineering is a, another technical field which has a, their own complexities. And not all the data scientists then can do that. It takes a different skill set. And then once the data is in, uh, what data scientists do is they'll analyze it. They'll do descriptive analysis, then uh, communicate the results, and they'll use different models. Uh, they'll use different algorithms. They'll run solutions in text environments. And like Dr. Radhika mentioned, they'll do these uh, experiments. We sometimes call them A-B testing pilot studies. And we'll tweak the parameters and find out where we can find the best, more accurate model or explainable model, whatever we need as the outcome. Then uh, throughout this pro project, all the team members will, all the different, different team members will uh, like all work together and delivery team will bring back and forth uh, business expertise, uh, will communicate continuously with businesses and helps to structure the solution uh, to align with the business's need. And uh, then we'll develop this in uh, test environments, develop, we call it development environment, then we put it into live environment. And when we have a stable product, then we'll check whether the solution is, the, they are also uh, working properly in longer run. We'll mon monitor in long run, we'll do quality assurance. So uh, that's actually what we do. Uh, as data scientists and what I do as a data scientist on a daily basis is awesome. So the next one is, um, another question we uh, always get asked is, how do you communicate findings to non-technical stakeholders? This is one of the, uh, in actually my perspective, this is one of the very important aspect of data science, which most people undervalue. So, Communicating findings from data analysis to non-technical stakeholders is one of the most critical part of the project. If a client can't understand, uh, if they or if they can't continue, the value we generate will be very limited and it's waste of everyone's time. So actually delivery team, as I mentioned earlier, they also play an important role here with the data scientists. So what we'll do is when we have some findings uh, before presenting to the client or stakeholders, we understand who the client is, what's their background, what do they want to know? And uh, we actually build a storyline of the approach and finding you, like we use a lot, lot of visualization technique, uh, techniques and we avoid all these technical jargons and we focus on the key insights, but in a fully transparent manner. So uh, trust is there between both parties. Um, to, uh, I'll give you an example about this technical term. So for example, let's say we do a clustering exercise, for example, let's say it's for retail stores. So, and uh, what uh, this clustering exercise, after we do the clustering exercise, let's say we want to maximize the pro profits. So if we go and say to them, okay, we used K-means or DBSCAN or some clustering algorithm by minimizing intra-cluster distances and uh, increasing inter-cluster distances and then applied meta heuristic algorithm to find global minimum or maximum, uh, then uh, client will be lost. So even though we, that's what we actually did. So we won't say that. Um, we will simply say something like, we looked at these features or in a language they understand and we grouped your outlets. And, and like that we will very simplify it very know, much again. and we will tell you. Oh, sorry. We will tell them um, in a very simple manner, and this normally will help you to successfully finish the projects. So finally, 
what areas can you improve to enter into the field of data science? So as I said, uh, this field is very interesting and also challenging also because pro problems may come in different angles. So you can always be creative. You'll have to be very creative thinker to approach this. Uh, so if someone asked me to summarize what got me to be a data scientist, it's like the foundation I had on statistics and computer science, but it's not something you, uh, like if your field is different, it's not something you can't learn because there are a lot of uh, freely available uh, resources in the internet. So those days we didn't have them, but now if you go to the YouTube, if you go to like something like Coursera, you have a lot of courses. And uh, I would say to anyone who is planning to have a journey on subject in the data scientist, good understanding of statistics is required in long term. And also working with the various computer softwares and coding skills, because you need coding uh, to make the computer understand what you're saying. So you, so I think you can use all these online platforms and uh, learn them. And also I mainly see like two types of people come into the field. One are very good at coding, one are very good at maths and stats. So in my opinion, you ultimately need uh, is a combination of both to, to uh, really succeed in the field. So, and uh, to address the women here, I think uh, I have not a significant interest in women's. I have got calls, I have been reached through the LinkedIn uh, because they are very interested to come into the field. And uh, like normally, good analytics team has this uh, combination of both men and women uh, because uh, it, it is required to maintain good team dynamics. And to amazing ladies out there, I will say like, do not be afraid, please enter into the field. I work with a bunch of uh, very skilled, both men and women, and everyone is the same. We work in the same wavelength. And as long as you are passionate um, and uh, you can do whatever you need. Thank you very much.